Okay, let's take a look at the basics of functions. Defining functions, calling functions, uh, what functions are there for, how we can use them, a few things like that. First of all, why do we even have these things? Well, functions break up a program into some logical units of work. Uh, one of the nice things about the C programming language and the ability to have functions is that you can, you can separate the program mentally, logically, where you have some divisions. So if you think about an algorithm, I want to do this and this and this, three things in a row, or they happen asynchronously whenever some event occurs, like somebody presses a key on a keyboard or whatever, you can create those different units of work as separate functions and then call them whenever they need to, to be run. This also allows the development team to work separately. The development team can be spread around the world, which many are these days, and each part of the team can work on one or more functions, which then come together uh, into a module, and then all of those modules come together into the entire application or program that's, that's going to be released. Functions also allow you to independently test each of the functions. The lower and deeper into a program, the finer and finer small functions you can test, the better off you're going to be. It's uh, absolutely wrong to try to inspect in quality at the end of the job and try to test the whole big application at once. You need to test all of the individual small functions. You need to understand what is everything that could go into a function, what is everything that could come out of it, and then you can write a small calling uh, program uh, that can call the function with with every possible input and every possible uh, testing for every possible output and you understand if the function really works the way that you want it to. Then after you're done testing all of these different functions and compiling them into object code you combine them all together when you do your link step. What we do in the Windows compiler so far is uh, our CL that's a compile and link together and our GCC over in the or our CC that we used you know over in the Linux world did the same thing for us did a compile and and uh, the link step was was all together. Now let's take a look at a small program here this is, is very simple. Uh, here's our main, and we don't even need our pound include standard I.O. at the top. We're using printf, but we're not going to bother with it right now. Here's our main, open brace, close brace. That is a function definition for main and what is inside it. All that we do, though, is we call three separate functions, one after the other. Notice a call is different. Here we have main, open and close paren, no semicolon, and then an open brace. So we're defining what's in main. Here in func1, open and close parentheses, open and close paren, and a semicolon. So that makes this a statement. So we are calling or executing function 1. So statement of execution processing will come down here to func1, wherever it happens to be defined. Func1 is being defined down here with our open brace and close brace, and here's the contents of function 1. This is the statement called return, and I think we looked at this just a little bit before, but, but nothing in any detail. Return says to send back to the caller the value that's over here after a, a piece of white space. Printf, we already know that function a little bit, printf will return a number, which is the number of characters that it outputs when it does its job. So this just allows us to return a value. We're not going to do anything with it. We're not catching the value up here or anything like that. We're just printing out I am function 1, a new line. That's the end of the statement. That's the end of the function right there. And we come, our processing comes up to here. Function 2 gets called and executed. Processing will go down to function 2. When it's finished, we'll come back to function 3, perform it, and then we'll run off the end of main. And we could put an exit there or a return in main just as easily to return back to the operating system. Now what I want you to do is to stop the video here in just a second, and I want you to go create this small program. I called it func1.c, and I want you to create a func2 and a func3, just like this, right below your definition of func1, and make them do the same thing. Make them do a return, printf, I am function 2, I am function 3, and then compile and link the whole thing. Give that a shot, and when you get done with that, come back here and start the video again, and we'll go take a look at doing the same thing. Okay, so uh, go off and make that happen, and uh, I'll, I'll wait here for you.